Hi, my name is Laurie. I am a 35-year-old pharmacist in the U.S., and I've suffered from a metaphobia for just basically all living memories. So I guess it had to be like 30 plus years for me. So I'm a veteran. Um, I have definitely fought it many ways over my life and with a career in healthcare. Obviously, that has, especially since becoming a pharmacist, has been a real challenge. And I the past few years have just really been fed up with it and wanting to get rid of it. So I'm currently undergoing the Thrive program right now, and I'm about halfway through. So this is actually not a post-treatment testimonial video. This is more of a, I'm, my mindset right now is changing, and I wanted to share where I'm at with you just in case anyone is in a similar situation or was in a similar situation where they were feeling discouraged by all their, what they were deeming as failures previously. Um, I had all of those avoidance behaviors that I'm sure a lot of you have or had, um, where I, you know, checking expiration dates, not eating out sometimes, um, pretty much holding up and being fearful at all times when norovirus or a similar illness was going around, which is really hard when you work in a pharmacy and people are coming to you as a rule when they're sick. Um, I over time, just back in college, I remember trying to tackle it. I was pre-med at the time and I knew I had a minor in psychology and neuroscience and I knew the way that you typically treat phobias or the standard of care for phobias is exposure therapy, which as you will learn if you've listened to any of Rob's videos or do the program, exposure therapy is not especially helpful for most emetophobes uh, because it's, it has to do with your processing. So even though I was exposed, and I, I knew that going into it, uh, pre-med and, and doing shadowing with doctors and working at a hospital and, um, you know, even in pharmacy, people come to me when they're sick and they might feel a little woozy after getting a vaccine. And there's so much anxiety around that for me. And so I really wanted to get rid of this phobia once and for all. So I found the Thrive program. I actually found it for the first time two years ago and attempted it with just the manual, which let me be clear, you can absolutely get through it with just the manual, and I could have. But I, the first time I went through it, I did exactly what they tell you not to, and I just devoured it really quickly. I was just so eager to, to just gather this knowledge and, and to get through it, and I wanted that instant gratification, and I wasn't seeing, even as I tried to, because I thought I was doing it, I did try to do the challenges and take it seriously, but for me, it was the consistency that was the issue and the just the recognition of what I was accomplishing. I wasn't seeing that. I have a very typical emetophobe personality type where for me, the emphasis is on perfectionism and obsessive thinking and black and white thinking and obviously negativity too, because I thought at the time I was not accomplishing anything and it was discouraging for me. This time around, I determined that for me, I did want to have a coach because I wanted someone to help me, hold me accountable. And in this case, my coach, Jenny, who's been amazing, is really helping lay out what I have accomplished because I was having trouble seeing it. And I'm sure a lot of you, if you are going through the program or are thinking about it and do attempt it, will encounter the same issue because of just the trends that our minds tend to make if we have this phobia. It's just that black and white thinking that you're not you're not, if you don't do it perfectly or if you are cured today, then today is a failure. And I just really found it and finding it helpful that Jenny's, well, you know, I might get onto the Zoom call and say I had a bad week. I don't feel like I did anything. And then she, we'd talk through it and I'd have to look back and be like, I really did. I actually did a lot of things and it wasn't as hard as I thought. I wasn't even acknowledging it because I didn't feel like it was a lot that I was doing. But over time, when you look back to what you were, you can see the progress and seeing the progress and acknowledging that progress is such a big and important part. And so that's where I'm at now. I'm feeling so encouraged. I'm about halfway through the program. And for the first time in my life, I can see a light at the end of the tunnel. I can see my life without this fear. And it is unbelievably encouraging, and I just want to share that for those of you who are in the program now and struggling or going through a blip or 
are considering doing it, but you think that you're the one exception, the one person that won't be able to benefit from this program, I promise you, I have been there. I've been in both of those situations. And if you do it and you do what it asks you to do, including giving yourself credit and being kind to yourself and not setting an unrealistic timeline, because for you, it's going to be personalized, you will get through it. And I am confident now that I will get through it because I'm seeing changes in my life. Otherwise, it's slowly honing in on the phobia itself, but I'm seeing benefits in decrease in social anxiety, um, I, imposter syndrome at work, just my general confidence, things that I didn't, hangups I didn't even realize I had are being tackled. And I'm halfway through, like I said, so I still have anxiety related to my phobia, but I have more confidence and more certainty that I could cope than I did previously. And it's only going to get better from here. Although I'm sure I will continue to have blips and that's okay. So I just wanted to share my, my excitement because I know I'm going to get through this. And if you do the program, you will, if you complete the program the way you're supposed to, you will get through it. And I will get right back on here and give you a post completion testimonial when I finish it, whenever that may be. And I'm not going to set a timeline for that, but I, I know I will get there. So I hope to talk to you guys soon.